I think issues like the, um, the, the controversy around the cake, um, around the Tintin book, these things uh, reoccur over time um, in different nations and in the same nation. The, the, the issue is never completely resolved. It tends to keep on reoccurring. I think part of the reason for that is, is often a kind of underlying tension around um, ethnic diversity and around issues of power. And I think particularly at, at the moment, um, right around the, um, the Western world, there's an enormous sense of uncertainty linked to um, the economic collapse in 2008. And at moments of um, such uncertainty, historically, people tend to reach for things like nationalism to reassure themselves that they're safe, that everything isn't changing, um, and that they still have power over something. And I think that's why it's a particularly dangerous moment right now um, in terms of ethnic diversity, because in nations right across Europe, uh, in the US, in Canada, um, there's a kind of drive to reassert the rights of the ethnic majority. Um, white people in the UK, in Sweden, in the US, in Canada, it seems to me are reasserting this is our nation. And we can have very um, important debates about the colonial past. All of these nations have a colonial past. It's not the same past, um, but all of the nations of Europe are built to some degree on a colonial legacy, whether they know it, whether they acknowledge it. Um, and they need to come to terms with that and to understand it. And I think um, controversies um, like the, um, the ones around the cake really act as flashpoints very often where what's happening is that minoritized groups are saying these things are offensive, these things sometimes lead to direct violence against us. You are treating us as less than human and you need to be more aware. And what tends to happen is that the, the group with the majority of power says, you don't get to tell us what to do. We believe in freedom of speech or we don't like censorship. And that becomes, that, that very good principle is then perverted to become a defense. It becomes an argument that we get to say and do whatever we like. So there has to be some kind of um, real dialogue between different groups to understand how we can um, use these issues to move forward, to have a better understanding of each other, but also of ourselves, a better understanding of our colonial past and how we came to this particular situation. Otherwise, we'll just keep on remaking the mistakes of the past. These uh, issues are always very complicated and they're always politically sensitive because we're not simply talking about a question of um, simple fact, that, that there's one way of representing the past or understanding the present. We're talking about differences of experience. So an image which looks um, playful to one group may be highly offensive to another group. And rather than the majority simply asserting its right to do whatever it wants, or saying, well, our perspective is the correct one, what we need is some greater kind of intercultural dialogue, a greater willingness to understand how these things are um, experienced by other groups. So for example, um, an organization entirely populated by white middle-class professionals is not best placed to understand um, the experience of minoritized groups in society uh, in the same way that um, men are not the best placed people to understand how to deal with sexual violence against women. You have to involve different perspectives, different understandings. So if you're an all-white organization, that means you have to find ways of working with minoritized groups, work with different communities, work with different individuals, different artists, Sometimes things will go wrong. 
because, for example, my understanding was the, the cake was made by a, a black man. And to, to kind of address issues around sexual violence, female circumcision. So even the most well-intentioned man doesn't get those issues, doesn't understand those issues in the same way as the women who are on the receiving end of that kind of sexual violence. So um, you need to involve those other groups. And if you make a mistake, if you do something that's really well-intentioned but offends one of the groups that you want to work with, you have to learn from that. You have to say, I made a mistake. Talk with the group. What can we, how would we have done this better? What would be a different way of working? Um, to simply say, oh, well, I intended something else isn't good enough. Um, these, these things are very complicated and we all make mistakes. I make mistakes um, in uh, the ways in which I um, do my work sometimes and I have to listen when students or colleagues suggest that there's a different way of understanding an issue or a different way of talking about it. So these things are never complete. Um, you can't take a course on anti-racism and suddenly become an expert and never make a mistake again. We constantly keep tripping up because these issues are complicated and they change. Racism operates in different ways. So um, there's no simple solution. Um, but working with different groups of people uh, and taking their views seriously, I think, is one of the best ways of, of starting to address the issue.